All right, so what's up guys? This is Brett from FBA Excel, and in this video, I'm actually gonna be going over our new Bulk Ops Optimizer tool. So it's a, a Microsoft Excel tool that basically is kind of a standalone sheet, and it's gonna help you reduce the file size if you have a really big uh, Amazon bulk file. So when you download your Amazon bulk file from uh, Campaign Manager, you'll take it, you'll save it to your desktop, you'll run it through the uh, Microsoft Excel tool, it's really quick and efficient. It's gonna allow you to select only the rows in your bulk file that you want, and then quickly create export file that we can then import into our Google Sheets version of Ad Tactics. So uh, it's gonna allow the sellers with bulk files of hundreds of thousands of rows still use the Google Sheets version uh, and be able to kind of do the different operations that they need to efficiently. So uh, anyway, I'm going to run through an example of kind of how to download the tool and run it through with a bulk file example just so you can kind of understand things. So uh, first off in the members area, I'm in the ad tactics section here of the training. We have a uh, new quick start video as well. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, you can check that out in the members area and it does reference this tool as well. So this is just gonna provide a bit more insight into how it's used. But uh, the download link's gonna be right here. Uh, to download it, you're just gonna click on it. Before I do that though, I do wanna kind of shed light on this unlock password. You are gonna need that to use the tool itself and that will change probably on a monthly basis. So if you're ever trying to use the tool and it's not working, you'll get a prompt uh, come in here and get the updated password and just plug that in. You should be good to go. So uh, anyway, you're going to click on the download button here. It's going to drop you into a screen here where you'll be able to download it. So the download button will be kind of up here at the top. It's not very large. So just click on that and you should be able to just save it right to your desktop. So I'm just going to put it right here on the desktop and go ahead and hit save. All right, and then after that, you can pretty well just get out of the tab here. You don't really need to do anything with it. Now I'm gonna go actually to my desktop here. I'm gonna make a folder. I'm just gonna call it. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this Excel file into the folder here. Now it is Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, uh, you can get Microsoft 365. It's pretty cheap online. Uh, that would be my recommendation. Now, what you're gonna have to do probably the first time you use this is potentially right click on the file and go to properties and then click on unblock. They do this if you're downloading it from uh, online. So hit unblock and then you'll hit apply and then you'll hit okay. And then you should be able to double click on it and open the tool up in Excel. All right. And once you open it, you'll be directed here to the settings tab. Now here's where you need to actually come in and enter the password, the current password is FBA 12, all right? And then once you've got that in, you're pretty well good to go. So it's pretty easy. Basically, you just need to copy in the tabs from the bulk file that you download from Amazon. So to download a bulk file from Amazon, the quickest way, if you don't know how to get to it in your uh, Seller Central is just log into Add Tactics here. You can come up to the Import menu, hit Download and Import Bulk Ads File, and it should automatically open you to. So here's kind of a screenshot of where it'll take you after you click this Yes button. Uh, this is some recommended uh, settings as, as well. Now you, I would recommend using the new uh, Search Term Report Mode. So you can download that with this checkbox right here. This is Sponsor Product Search Term Data. Uh, the other uh, like date range, that's kind of up to whatever you want. As far as the campaign items with zero impressions, placement data, go ahead and grab the products, brands, display, uh, brand assets data if you're working with uh, sponsored brands like generating campaigns and stuff, you can grab that one as well. Wouldn't recommend selecting the terminated campaigns though, you don't really need that. Uh, but then hit the blue button and then you're just gonna download the file once it's available right underneath kind of the blue button here, there's a little area. so. You'll download that, save it to your desktop or Google Drive, wherever you know where it is. And then that's the data that we're gonna drop now into the Excel tool. So uh, once you get it saved like to your desktop, go ahead and just open that in a separate Excel document. So you can see here, I've got it in a separate Excel workbook. 
and we've got one, two, three, four, we've got five tabs in this one. Just go ahead and copy all of the tabs here. I just held in the shift key and it selected all of them. Uh, now I'm gonna right click on just any of them and I'm gonna do move or copy. I like to also check this little copy button just so uh, it keeps kind of the original bulk file intact. Otherwise it's gonna cut and move these uh, worksheets into our optimizer. So I selected optimizer now from this little drop down, and I always select move to end and that just puts it after the little settings tab there. So uh, that just should take a second to get all of our tabs now into the optimizer tool. You can see down here we've got our settings tab and then we've got our tabs here from our bulk file. So um, what this tool does is pretty simple. There's just this input dashboard where you can pick from the drop downs if you want to either keep or remove certain sections and the sponsor products brands and display campaigns tab down here at the bottom are going to get filtered accordingly based on your input so uh, the other fields here on the metrics you can use operators so there's some instructions over here on the right as well you can read but uh, an example of an operator i might use would be uh, more application probably over here in your search term report because yeah like search term reports say we're say we've got a really big bulk file and the options here we're good with as far as cleaning that up but say we want to do some search term harvesting uh, you don't really need the search terms with zero orders in that case you want things that more than zero orders or maybe you have a threshold of more than like three orders you're going to want to kind of harvest those so what you can do in that case is just say a greater than symbol zero like that and that will filter now your search term report so that's the other tab down here at the bottom that works with kind of this optimizer tool these other ones right now it's we're basically telling the system we're going to remove the campaign level rows the ad group level rows product ad rows the placement rows and we're just keeping the keyword and product targeting rows and that's for the sponsor products for sponsor brands we're telling it to keep just the keyword and product targeting and then for the display we're telling it to just keep the audience and contextual targeting so this may or may not be what you want if you want to have like placement data in there you'll want to actually change this to keep for the bid adjustment you'll probably want to uh, change the campaign one as well to keep that'll allow you to optimize your budgets and things like that. Uh, the options down here, that's gonna remove any paused rows that if you're not you know, worried about enabling anything that was previously paused, you can probably go ahead and remove those. Um, and then the other filter here is for por portfolios. So you've got a list of your portfolio names in this tab that should come in automatically. So what you can do there is make a list of portfolios and the way to do that is actually within the cell so let me show you you'll just double click in the cell and hit control v that should paste uh, i didn't get it hold on so i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to paste that in here now what you can do at least on a pc is I believe it's control enter or alt enter and it'll advance down a row within the cell and then if I had another portfolio like I could just type it in uh, portfolio 2 portfolio 3 so on and so forth and then this is going to only grab the rows in your bulk file that have a matching portfolio to any of these three names you can do this similarly in your brands display and search term report uh, and that'll condense things down a lot further so if you have like a bulk file with a million rows, that would be maybe the only application I could see this maybe being needed. Or uh, maybe you have a team that only manages kind of one product within a brand and another team manages another. This could be an application for this where you have your products organized in portfolios and then you quickly come in here and kind of create multiple bulk files for the teams to use. So anyway, I'm not going to actually use this filter on this application because I don't have that big of a bulk file to deal with. but these other ones are pretty well set. So all you do is you just click these two buttons. It's gonna be this button to filter it, and you should just get a confirmation prompt here really quick. So your filters have been applied to your bulk sheets. You can now make any manual adjustments, then click the export button, hit okay. So the export button's right here. So basically what you could do at this point if you want, you can hop in here, you can see that there's some automated filters that have been applied. So the entity column, for example, we've got the bid adjustment campaign, keyword, product targeting, Pretty self-explanatory here. We've got the enabled 
uh, rows just filtered. And then if we had any of those metric filters applied, you know, there'd be additional filters over here. Same thing with your search term report. Uh, the only filter we had applied there was the orders report or the orders filter rather. So um, it's going to have a numbers filter greater than and you can see greater than zero there. So you could, the point is you could come in here and tweak any of these kind of final uh, fine tune adjustments. And then once you are satisfied, you're just gonna come back here, hit this button, and it should give you a prompt to tell you that it's just been exported. The It's gonna get exported to the directory where you have the optimizer tool saved. So if you remember, we made that folder on our desktop. So I'm gonna hit okay, and we should be able to open that up now. We'll find a export data with the date time stamp there. So that's the bulk file now that we've automatically created that we're gonna import into Ad Tactics. It's gonna be a lot more optimized now for that Google Sheets version of Ad Tactics to operate. So I'm gonna hop in to uh, Ad Tactics here really quick and just show you how to get this file into the tool. So file import. And because it's on our desktop, I'm gonna just click on upload here. I'm gonna click browse and then I'm gonna go get the file from our directory we made, all right? So desktop, export data, and insert new sheet. Once that imports and you see it kind of save confirmation up there, you're ready to sync your bulk file. If you had any supplemental reports, this is where uh, you could also import them as well. Now, if you watched the quick start video, you saw the new feature with the SP search term report mode. This is gonna be enabled by default. Uh, but it's down here, so that'll be checked on by default. If you wanted to import any of the uh, supplemental reports, now would be the time you just check those boxes, come up here, manage supplemental data, hit the download button. That's gonna open you to Seller Central wherever you need to download those. And you can check out the quick start guide for kind of how to name them and where to put them in your Google Drive folder. But then you just click this button, it automatically imports them. And then you'll click the sync data. It's gonna kind of optimize and combine all the data sources that you brought in together and then you're good to go. We're gonna skip that in this example and just click sync all data. And then this is just gonna sync the tabs that we have down here at the bottom uh, from our optimized bulk file. So I'm gonna click yes. And once you get the confirmation, just hit okay and you're pretty well good to go now. And that is pretty much it. Now, just be careful. There's you know certain rows in your bulk file that if you don't bring them in, for example, like your product add row that has your ASINs and your SKUs, uh, you're potentially gonna have issues with uh, like your ASINs column here. That's not gonna be able to get displayed because it didn't have the data in there to begin with. Um, again, I mentioned the bid adjustment row. If you didn't bring that in, you wouldn't be able to do anything with placements. If you didn't bring the campaign row in, you wouldn't be able to do anything with campaign budgets. But if all you're worried about is like optimizing your target level bids, you'd literally just need your keyword and product targeting level rows. Uh, and then you can kinda slice and dice things how you want it depending on exactly what you're trying to do. I hope this helps guys. This should be huge for the bigger brands with a ton of SKUs. This will make things a lot more uh, efficient and open you up to being able to use some of the advanced tools like we have here in autopilot. You should be able to kind of run this through pretty efficiently now. So I will see you guys on the next training. Thanks.